trophy, it's the prize. Ain't no gimmicks with this, okay? Now what's left on them? Told you I'ma flex on them. I did it all subtle, ooh, and then I hit that exit on them. Gotta blame my faith, cause these eyes ain't got nothing on them. I secured it safe for the cradle, I ain't dropping nothing, ooh. Only when it gets exception, ain't no troops, uh. Ain't no dub, ain't no L on my crew, ooh. Only when it gets exception on my crew, yeah. Ain't no dub, ain't no L. I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this, ayy. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Miami Dolphins. It's an Indian summer afternoon, perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Raekwon Davis on the stop. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Here's second and eight. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He goes full extension, and he's got it. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got our bike. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and he works it to the 30 yard line here right at the 30. a gain of just a yard but it's a first down second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down but sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And he completes it to Westbrook. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. 
And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence. It allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Zeke going to get it on the option. It'll be a pickup of just two. And this long drive is going to continue as they move the chains again. Back to throw now on first down. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. DJ Chark. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Jaguars drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And this is up and good. The score now 7-0 Jaguars. The score, Jaguars 7, Dolphins nothing. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And they begin with a quick throw out left. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. That catch good for only a couple. Brings up second and eight at the 27-yard line. On second down, Tua. He'll rifle this one deep right side. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and the return across midfield into the 46-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. Brings up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The open man is Westbrook. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Jaguars. This is Elliott. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Jerome Baker in on Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. On second down now. Elliott. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. On the play. And it brings up third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Picked off Byron Jones. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. What you call a rookie mistake. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A gain of a yard. 
Now a handoff looking right. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. The ball carrier. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Sports. Jaguars 7, Dolphins nothing. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Miami, Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Miles Jack with a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Two big plays in succession, and the Dolphins on the move. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man is Westbrook complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Pick up. That's First a play that will likely Jackson be forgotten Bill. when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. the option here on first and ten and a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete well, let's see who this is on so they say no to the penalty the incompletion stands it'll be second and ten and what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them you never want to give extra snaps to any offense that's how you get hurt after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. 
They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Out of the gun now on third down. Flush to his right. It's caught at the 10. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That was a fantastic job of keeping that play alive. He had a chance to tuck it. I thought he might. They work on those situations all the time. This is coached, being able to keep your eyes downfield, keep the play alive, and not automatically run with the football. How about that lesson absorbed, and it turned into a big play. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Flushed out right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. The kick by Lambeau is good, and the lead moves to 10 zip. Dolphins. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. first down but it only produces a gain of two it's second down now certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole on second down Elliot And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. A 28-yard gain. And the Jaguar Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Jags are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. This gain not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Now back to throw. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Sack. 
Escaping the pressure right. And it's caught. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. LaVisca Chenault as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. The PAT would extend their lead, but there is a flag on the play. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. Just moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. First down, Tonga Bailoa. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Good. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Tonga Bailoa working out of the gun. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Jason Sanders for the Dolphin field goal. A 52-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Tua once again here on second and ten. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Able to get there and pick it. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. 
trying to find Chark, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Noah Igbenogany. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Flush to his right. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case... The NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Tua. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Two and now on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they've met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. And he will score! Touchdown, Miami! A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Dolphins use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. They start on the ground with Elliott. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. 
picked off at the 33. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. First and 10 at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. After the turnover, it's Tua. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Josh Allen in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Going to the air, Tungabailoa. That's incomplete, nearly another pick. My goodness. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On third and long, it's Tungabailoa. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, it's tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 27. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Or you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference. Meet it head on and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Now this time, two is going to throw it. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. Keep going, keep running, and man. All the way in for a Miami touchdown. Mike Gesicki, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. And there's a situation where as a tight end, once he gets that end zone in his sights, he's not going to back down from anyone. He doesn't worry about running the daylight. He doesn't mind running through contact. That's totally fine by him. So now the Dolphin offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. They'll try and run it here. 
And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And so they run it in on the two-point try. You know, so often, Charles, we talk about from the offense's perspective what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There the offense wins the battle for two. At their own 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Kyle Van Noy gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. You change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe. And now here is another interception. Picked off Byron Jones. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. To a fast pass outside complete. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Third down and six. Now Tua being chased out left. He, oh, no, he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we'd give our, team, we'd give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. He was brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. Brings up second and eight. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. Call it a three-yard gain. And it'll be third down. Third down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Noah Igbenagany. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six, and the Dolphins 
touchdown. That was a nice catch, and not by the guy you thought it was going to be. How about the defender turning into an offensive player as soon as the ball hits his hands? And off he goes, off to the races, and into the end zone. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Makes the score Dolphins 28, Jaguars 17. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25 yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Shaq Lawson. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. And it's third down. Third down. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 33. And he will bring it back. It's a part six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Robinson. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. That is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On play action, they'll throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 38. They brought the house that time on the young rookie. Maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. loose and the Jags grab it then he'll be brought down at his own 10 yard line there are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time one starts with a B one starts with an S ball security and they preach it they, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms right you see the signs they talk about it all the time but still when you got defenders out there who are preaching hey we're gonna take the ball away from you no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Got a man. It's Tanyan complete. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 14-yard line. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. 
The Jaguars on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and 15. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. He's got a man complete. He's at the 30, past the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Touchdown, Jackson. DJ Chark, 95 yards. And the Jaguars get a score closer. You got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you. Rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got the two-score lead. It look, though, they fumbled last possession, led to a touchdown. So while things look good here at this stage in the fourth, they got to be careful. They, they definitely do because they've actually brought them back into it, haven't they? They've given them hope once again. Their purpose on this drive, squash that hope one more time. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Tua. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off near the 42. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. First down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll try to set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and 15. That is caught at the 7. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. That's complete right around the 8. No gain there on the completion. It will be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll try again here from the 7 on second and goal. Steps away to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Robert Tanyan was the one he was looking for, but now it's third and goal. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Dancing to his left. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. 
And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. That one looks like he'll throw here. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a pickup of 13, and with that 13 yards, this ball game just about over. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second down and ten. Off a of play action. Tonga Bailoa. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. At the 49. A game there of 30 big ones. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. At the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Chunga Bailoa. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And now here is another interception. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. Intercepted by the Jaguars. They'll take over first and ten at their own six-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because and they're going to sack him again. The fifth time they've gotten him today, and this one results in a safety. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for Miami, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. And, and they'll try again next week at home against New England. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, uh, turn the knob, camera assist, I'm incredible. And he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Dre. You gon' have to pay. But wait. Jugging on the main stage with the main Take my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, such a force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit 
Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that. Earn at the front of this line is where my turn at. Sometimes you need a friend. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, sometimes you need a Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what you ask. Oh. 